let's uh, uh, predict the future a little bit. Let's start with the AI's big, big future. Uh, China is now talking about a 15, it's not only a five-year plan, but it now it's an officially, in a sense, 15-year plan to 2035 which is right. a very important uh, target date for China's basically getting full modernization. 2035 was introduced at the 19th uh, uh, Party Congress as this as date. So if you look at AI's future in 2035, what percentage or how important would it be in the overall economy? Okay, yeah, so so first thing probably I could I could talk about IB, right? So, so one thing is I feel like, uh, so, we, along the way, I uh, say so if you give us like five to ten years, uh, then I think when you say when you say when you are entering a, a public space like a shopping mall or, or like a, or stores or like airports or something, is uh, any of those space, then the the the, the underlying I say digital infrastructure is powered by IP. So so basically, if you can do a space, at least a space is uh, IP inside, right? So so I think <laughs> that's some kind of image that we are we are thinking, right? And uh, and I think this is just for IB. I think for, for, for China economy, I could see like more and more these, uh, these uh, actually people also call it the real uh, economy to kind of to distinguish from say internet business or like, so, so if you, you look at all these vertical industries in real economy, we will be digitized. Yeah, mm. and, 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 and as we see from the internet, what we, as we see what happening in internet, once it's data, once, once it's digitized, right, and uh, everything and every inefficiency gonna be, can be optimized right? because now they, they know like why it's uh, inefficient, right, and what they need to do to improve the efficiency, right. So you could imagine like uh, the outer this uh, like uh, this uh, the data like outer this society accumulate huge amount of data, then I think uh, the, the efficiency gonna be dramatically improved. Right, mm. and uh, and we could see like a lease will gonna for for every industry. I think a lease will, uh, I think they, they would improve the, the, the efficiency. They would the kind of increase the, the profitability, right? And uh, so so I think it's gonna be a very very different society that we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna see in in say in next few decades, mm. right? And uh, if we look back like uh, a, like how electricity did to the society, right? I think AI will do the same thing. Hmm. Are, are there some yeah. dangers ahead that the society should uh, be concerned about with the proliferation of AI? What, what are the biggest uh, concerns that, that you think society should have? I think as a, as a researcher and also it's a, it's a kind of a, a, a community, community, these AI community leaders, one of those uh, kind of technology leaders, right? And uh, I, I feel like actually it's very important for every individual uh, to make the technologies very responsible for the community. For example, like uh, people often say that you are, when you have more power, you need, to, you, need, you need to feel more responsible, right? Yeah, the same thing here. I think uh, we, 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 again, the, the, the problem, uh, 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 the data privacy issue I just mentioned to you earlier, right? So, I mean, in AI, Era, I think uh, the, the, if, if we don't do, if we are not careful with this uh, uh, data privacy, I think it can be it can be worse than, than the internet era, right? <laughs> uh, so so because technology is more powerful, and uh, that's also why I think uh, uh, along the way, for anyone, uh, uh, especially any like uh, these uh, these uh, uh, these uh, technology leaders and the community leaders, uh, and we need to be very very responsible with the technology. Yeah. Mm.